them, but uh, I also gave an analogy to uh, uh, how uh, neutrinos change from one type to another before they uh, uh, reach the Earth, and I was commenting on how difficult that would be for a, uh, a goalie if uh, suddenly the puck became something uh, unstoppable. Uh, and uh, that was, in fact, what happened with neutrinos in previous experiments with our uh, Sudbury Neutrino Observatory, we had a high-resolution goalie cam that enabled us to observe the other things into which they turned as well. And so we were able to show that they in fact changed from one type to another very clearly. Uh, great consternation for the goalies, but pretty good when you have a, uh, the type of apparatus we had. Och Mats Sundin, hur väl hänger du med i neutrinoforskningen då? Jag förstod allt efter uh, McDonald förklarade på mig i ishockeytermer. Men självklart vet jag varför han hade det här fantastiska priset och den forskningen som han har gjort. Och, eh, idrottsvärlden och forskningsvärlden har faktiskt många gemensamma nämnare. En är otroliga tävlingsmänniskor och det märker man att eh, Art McDonald verkligen är också. Så so, uh, Matt said that you are both competitors, but do you have other things in common, like more than chasing things that go in straight lines? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have one thing in common. Uh, Mats has established a fellowship in early childhood development uh, with uh, what's called the Fraser Mustard Institute in uh, the University of Toronto in Canada. And I knew Fraser Mustard and uh, served on uh, a research committee for uh, an institute that he had founded in more generality, Can Canadian Institute for Advanced Research, and have tremendous respect for him. He's actually shown that uh, early childhood development is extremely important and that was something that led to the establishment of a one-year maternity leave for parents in Canada uh, 10 years ago, something like that, which has been a, a tremendous uh, bonus for, uh, uh, for young parents in Canada. Vi båda forskningsintresserade kommer att bli ett fysiksamarbete och utbyte nu då, som du engagerar i. Ja, det, det vet jag självklart inte, men det är jättekul att Art McDonald ens känner till det som vi håller på med. Det är ett typ av stipendium. Det är jättekul. Jag är bara väldigt stolt och och få vara med på sådana här lunch och träffa Nobelpristagen i fysik. Och sen får reda på att han också är en stor Toronto Maple Leaf fan också. Det är en period i saken väldigt roligt. Så vi har haft en jätterolig dag idag. When we met in, in Canada, you said, I said that you could probably try and arrange a meeting with Mats and Dean and Börje Salmi. You said, I wouldn't pursue when it would be such an honor. So who, who has been most honored of you two? I think I was, definitely. <laughs> I was definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and Mats and Dean, uh, I get this in Swedish. Please Mats, Mats and Dean. Du kände väl till att, uh, att uh, Arthur McDonald nämnde dig den här morgonen i det här samtalet från Nobelkommittén. Hur kändes det att de började prata om dig där när han fick reda på att han var Nobelpristagare? Ja, det är väldigt smäckrande och förvånande. Men samtidigt så visar det väl lite... Jag tror att man i Sverige får en förståelse av hur viktigt ishockeyn här i Kanada som sport. Det är en kultur och det är en institution och Toronto med polis i Kanada då, som det, det stora laget får man ändå säga är ju jätteviktigt för, för inte bara eh, Toronto med polis men, men för kanadensar det generellt så det är jättekul. And you've been a Toronto med polis fan much longer than Mats as much you. longer than Mats. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started as a fan in the uh, in the early 1950s when we in Nova Scotia did not have television. I was allowed to stay up on a, a stay, to be in my bed and, and stay up late on a Saturday night to listen to the uh, uh, hockey games on, uh, uh, on the radio and picture what was happening uh, uh, in uh, Maple Leaf Gardens at that time. And uh, so I uh, started as a fan at that point and have followed the team for many, many years thereafter. Do you have any Mats moments you remember? Uh, any Mats moments? Yes. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> many, many. I mean, Mats was the, the heart and soul of the Toronto Maple Leaf for the whole time that he was there uh, as, a, uh, as a captain. I think he's probably the, the greatest captain ever of that team. Very nice <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. There's been a lot of great captains and players through the Maple Leafs history, but uh, I was very proud to, to represent uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs for 13 years and being the captain for many years as well. It, it's a, as I said, Toronto Maple Leafs is an institution in, in, in Canada and in the hockey world and I was very 
proud to be part of that organization for so many years. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.